Hi, everybody. Good evening. I'm trying to take this light off. I have too much light going on. Ooh, that's too bright. I'm trying to take the lights off in here. There we go. Hello. Hi, Cynthia. So I'm going live on both, um, not Facebook. Fa yeah, actually, I'm going live on Facebook. I'm on live on YouTube, and I'm also live on Instagram. I'm trying this trifecta again, so we'll see how it goes. The lighting, I still haven't figured out my light. Like, I look kind of gold <laughs> on StreamYard here, and over here, I look orange. <laughs> so I don't know what that, I don't know what that's about, but we'll make it do what it do, right? I'm trying to move things around so we can see. I was just posting a thank you for the likes. Oh, hi, you're so welcome. Thank you for following. I really appreciate it. Hello, hello, everyone. I'm really glad that you guys can jump in. This is going to be sort of a short live. Um, I'm actually recording on StreamYard. So the recording is going to be uploaded after I edit it and whatnot. But tomorrow is my birthday. Yes, y'all. Tomorrow's my birthday. Oh, Lord. I'm getting hot flashes just thinking about it. <laughs> so needless to say... One minute I'm cold, next minute I was freezing, and I decided to, um, yeah, anyways. Bottom line is I'm freezing, and I had to put on sweater and hat and everything, and then all of a sudden I'm not feeling so cold anymore, so I'm going back and forth, and it's been tremendously annoying. But if you guys are here for the first time, my name is Pam. And um, I am a fragrance reviewer. I like to call myself a connoisseur, but technically, I don't even know if that's correct, but I love fragrances. So if this is your first time here, thank you very much for joining. And tonight, what we're going to talk about are a few fragrances that I picked up during the month of March. Now, March is international, is it international or national? International Women's Month, I want to say. So let's see here. Um, da -dum -da -dum. I want to make sure that I got everyone I did. Thank you very much. And well, we were in central time. So in just a few hours, I'll, what am I gifting myself for my birthday? What have I not gifted myself? <laughs> um, so we've got Neiman Marcus. We've got Neiman Marcus. We've got the PX, because y'all know I, I'm military, so I shop at the PX. And then Neiman Marcus had their um, beauty event, so I picked up some items there as well. And um, I did like some Sephora. So I did the, me, Nathan and I, we already did the haul that I did with Sephora and stuff like that. So I've gotten a couple of other fragrances, like Good Girl Blush. I picked that up, and I did a video on that. With Nathan, if you're um, new here, you can just click on my bio once we're done with the live and you can go over there and check it out. But for the most part, you know, it's, um, how should I say? We had a good life. Yeah, right? So I picked up really good fragrances. But what I also did is I picked up some fragrances here. Whoops, my camera here. I picked up some fragrances here that are... um. I don't always buy, I buy partials, I buy decants, and I buy samples. And so I counted all of that as part of me purchasing fragrances. So I picked up, well, let's let's be a little, let me try and be a little more organized, okay? We'll go through these in just a minute. But let's start with these here. Let's see here. <laughs> we love a good splurge. <laughs> yes, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I'm looking for the knife. Got it. So I went into the PX and they had this uh, markdown. And I can't show you guys the price because it's the PX. But and this is by um, Isemiyaki. And I had gotten rid of all my Isemiyaki fragrances previously. I had sold them or I gifted them. And I picked this one up. And this is called a Drop DC. So I looked it up and it's supposed to be like a fresh floral, sort of creamy and light. Um, and the first thing when I looked at the picture, it looks like sort of a rain, 
right? It looks a little rainy. If if that's what it looked like to me. So I haven't, I haven't uh I smelled it was a bottle and I smelled it at the PX, but I hadn't really like worn anything, I don't think, like this, except for the way Q, I think it's Q O O U A I from Ulta last year. Those I very rarely buy light fragrances like these. So let's this is what it looks like. Oh my god, the bottle is cute. This bottle is cute. Look at that. This is cute. Cute, cute, cute. So I like it. That's far. I like this bottle. I do. Let's see. Hi, Courtney. Thanks for joining. Some fragrances. Thank you very much for joining. Guys, if you've never been here before, please consider uh following me on Instagram and um on YouTube. Go ahead and subscribe if you like fragrances and stuff. That's what I do, okay? Pretty much almost everything. I do beauty a little bit, a little bit of fashion as well. But today it's a birthday haul. I can't keep saying that enough because I am so blessed to make it to the ripe old age of 55. <laughs> Lord knows I don't look like what I've been through, okay? So let's go ahead and... I know I'm supposed to spray it on paper, but to be honest with you, it's best for me. Oh, this smells good already. This is nice and light and fresh, but it's still sort of perfumey, not lipsticky perfumey, but this is, it's like clean. Let's see. It says here, a drop magnifying the beauty of nature, a solar lilac accord enlightened by a musky note and an almond milk. You see, I said creamy. So I did pick that up. So yeah, I'm picking up the creamy scent. So I don't know if I would wear it. Now it's nice. It, it is a beautiful fragrance. For those of you that like fragrances that are a little lighter in nature, I think that this is something that you would probably enjoy. Let me show you guys the bottle again. It's a beautiful bottle. It's really, really beautifully designed. It looks like a pebble, a glass pebble, a big pebble, but a glass pebble nonetheless. Yes, lilac, Courtney. I love skin testing better, especially for first impression. Exactly. I believe that too, because a lot of times you spray something. Oh, the smell is developing really nicely. It's developing really, really clean, easy. Um, Let's see here. Comments. Oh, oh my God. I'm sorry, guys. I was avoiding y'all. Hi, Margarita. Thank you very much. Hello, Kay. Thank you very much. Um, oh, thank you, Cheryl. Thank you very much. Hello, JC. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you very much. Oh my gosh. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. You know, that's going right back into some skin potion. Oh my God. Okay. Let me do. Okay. This is a charade right here. This is a charade. Let me stop for 2.5 seconds, but it might be 5.5 seconds. Okay, guys, let me tell y'all, I have been talking up Ray, like nobody's business. My girlfriend, they were, I think she retired. I want to say it's Kentucky. She's in the Midwest as well. And we were chatting this morning on my way to work. We talking to work and we were talking and stuff. And I was talking about, um, I had sent her some of that oil, that Kama Sutra, y'all. Y'all know I love me some Kama Sutra. So I sent her some of the oil a little bit for the, and she's like, ooh, this smells good. I don't know if I like this perfume, blah, blah, blah. I said, put the Kama Sutra oil on it and then spray the perfume. And she was like, oh yeah, you know. So I've been talking you up, y'all. I am the new spokeswoman for... <laughs> I am self-deemed the new spokeswoman for Kama Sutra <laughs> and Skin Potions products. I absolutely love it. Love it. Hello, hello, Smiling Sugar Bab. Thanks, guys, for joining. Oh, this smells good. The more it sits on my skin, it's developing even better. So if you get a chance... Now, like I said... Um, I got this at the PX, so you might be able to find this at, it's called a drop de -ici. So my recommendation is, in my recommendation, guys, is to go out there and try. I always tell y'all, go to TJ Maxx, go to um, Marshalls, um, Nordstrom Rack, like Saks or Fifth right now had an additional 25% off. And my phone, I was trying to schedule that um, post and it didn't come through. But my recommendation is to find those places to get these at a discount because this is really good. I think originally this price was like 80 bucks or something. This is a big bottle. This is the three, 
3.4 ounce. So if you're looking for fragrances that are clean, that's not too cloying, not too, it's not too green. It's very creamy, milky. It has a lactonic vibe to it. And I do get the nutty vibe from it as well. So this is, I dropped it, it's the end. I was a little, I don't know if I want that. I don't really wear fragrances like that. You know, that's how I was thinking. Oh my God, thank you so much, Ray. Thank you. I love your products, dude. I, I, you know, I love it. I like the Saturday Night Lady. I don't know if y'all remember the actress from Saturday Night Live. I love it. 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 <laughs> okay. So what I also picked up from the PX guys is, and I already opened this box. <laughs> already opened this box up because I wanted to smell it. But this is the other toilet. Put this in the trash. This is our uh, Aura by Mugler. Or is it? Yes, Mugler. Oh, what is it? Eau de Toilette. Now I have the Eau de Parfum and I actually really love the Eau de Parfum. I really, really do. A lot of people don't like it. I find it very, eth I find a lot of things ethereal, okay? But that one, I really do find ethereal. I found that it's like, if you could think about, and I watch a lot of like, you know, like Celtic movies and Vikings and all that. Kind of, yes, I love all of that stuff. So in my mindset, when, if you watch those shows, I know that they call, I am a Christian, but they call them like pagans, right? So if they're walking through Valhalla, like they go into Valhalla, they're walking on grass, that type of stuff. They're going to that other realm. That's what that, this fragrance, when I envision it, or I envision things like, um, you know, like, um, what's that movie? Oh my God. My mind is escaping me. 55 is coming too quick. But I'm just saying, it, it just gives me that nice green oak mossy sweetness. And this is the Eau de Toilette. And to me, the Eau de Toilette, it smells just as good as the Eau de Parfum, but I think I might prefer the Eau de Toilette. And the bottle is a lighter green. Look how pretty that bottle is, guys. And this is Aura by Mugler. Hi, Kia. Hi, Pat. Y'all, I'm missing everybody. Yes, otherworldly. Perfect, perfect, perfect terminology for that. Hey, Venus, thank you so much. Yep. So this I purchased. Now I purchased this and then right next to it, it wasn't my fault that they put it literally right next to it. <laughs> they had the body lotion. So let's open that up because you guys know we're on currently, um, we're pushing lotion and stuff. You know, moisturization is the key to your fragrances lasting longer. And when you're layering, if you're using fragrances that are very similar in kind, if you're looking for the same note story, all the way throughout, then um, I never use these codes. Does anybody use these codes? I never use them. Hi, Mighty. Hi, Chris. Hi, the sentiment. Oh my God. Hi, Brea. Okay, so let me open this up real quick. Thank you, Yummy. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, that's pretty. And when you Oh, this is nice. Now, this looks kind of purple instead of green, guys. So this is the all the, all the toilet. Let me pull it back a little bit because my lighting, I'm sucking with the lighting setup today. I was trying to use one light because the other two is making me, like giving me a migraine. I really like these. This literally looks like a jet. Oh, I like Theory Mugler's bottles. I, so let's see. How do you open this? I don't know. I think I have to look at a YouTube video to open this. This. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Right on the top. So even though it sits like this, so the lotion comes downwards, you open it. This is the top of it. So it's kind of like Bath and Body Works. You sit it on the bottom. Okay. So this is the lotion and this is the other toilette. So your girl got that. And then... <laughs> another show and then that's actually a cartoon from the 90s if you can remember that you get a sample of one of my niche fragrances anything you want and then that's from a, a movie from uh, a disney movie i picked up the cream <laughs> i tell y'all i went crazy yes 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 obsidian crystal it sure is 
I'm sure. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. Packaging, y'all. Packaging. And it doesn't feel like glass, but I'm sure it is. Ooh. Let me smell it if it's. Yep, it smells beautiful. It smells like green apple-y, kind of, but not synthetic. It doesn't have a synthetic. This here is giving a horrible representation. I'm so sorry, guys. But yeah, it smells good. Ser good. <laughs> I'm excited. Okay, so uh, <laughs> let me tell y'all what I did, y'all. Oh, it's better than Instagram Live, Courtney said. Oh, okay. So you guys on Instagram Live, if you want to jump over onto YouTube, that would be great. I have had the Parfums de Mali um, fragrance cream sitting up here. I have my Chanel's and stuff up here too, but I've had that in its box for a couple of months. And the reason I didn't open it is because Amanda did her video and she showed how her bottle cracked. Like, I think it was her second time using it. So I was kind of freaked out about opening mine. And then now the time has passed. I can't return it. So I need to open it up. But I do use, I prefer using my Kama Sutra fragrance oil with all my rose fragrances. I actually wore my Kama Sutra fragrance oil every single day this week so far. And I got, and I've been doing like a rare, rare find frags. He is doing a Raja week and I jumped on his Raja train because I have about 14 or 15 bottles. And so I want to use my stuff up. And I used it with Danger. I used it with, uh, I used it with two others. So today's Thursday. So I started on, I started on Tuesday. Guys, I'm telling y'all, get on, get on Skin Potions email list so you will know when that stuff drops, okay? And I'm telling you, you, you you're not going, you're not going to be disappointed. Okay, back to this. So we've got this, we've got this. So these two, the eau de toilette. I didn't spray this, but I know it's gonna smell good because I smell it in the store. It is much better, in my opinion. It's easier to wear than the eau de parfum, but I could see layered with the cream, it would smell very as potent. And then I think I looked up some notes on Fragrantica and people were also saying that on Fragrantica that the um, Eau de Toilette, they prefer it over the Eau de Parfum. But this has a very beautiful, non-synthetic, sweet, juicy, outdoor, ethereal, otherworldly feel to it as well. Yes, it does. So Kama Sutra brings out the sensuality in a lot of fragrances. It truly does. It does that as well as the musk. And I mixed the musk lotion. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I mixed the musk with other fragrances, the musk lotion with other, the dark musk is what it's called. I mixed it with other fragrances and that actually helped quite a bit for those fragrances to perform where they weren't really performing before. So, yep. It still has a little, the um, aura of the toilet has a tinge of a spiciness to it, but very, very minor. Like those. So those I like. Now, whether I keep them or not, I don't know because y'all, I'm supposed to be like, you know, reducing my collection. <laughs> so we have those. So what else did I pick up from the PX? I also picked up, so we carry Chanel of the PX. So I picked up and I did a video on this already. I have the body cream for this. Um, like the cream is sitting up there and I bought the Coco Emulsion. And I also bought the Mademoiselle. So I bought these two as well. And these are pretty, pretty awesome. What I do with the knife. So I will just open it real quick. This I actually put on my hand in the store. And initially I was worried that so many perfumed lotion was going to dry my skin out. Yada, yada. But I was in the store and it immediately moisturized my skin. And I didn't have that like that fidgety, dry feeling after you put something on that hasn't too much alcohol and stuff like that. So I would say if you get an opportunity to pick, oh, this is a pretty, oh, pretty. She party. This is the cocoa bottle. Yes, Pat, you do. You do. It's always so, you got to get on. Did you put yourself on the email list? 
Put yourself on the email list. And as soon as it drops or before it drops, like a day or two before it drops, he normally tells you when it's going to drop or about when it's going to drop. And then grab yours. Because what you guys may not know about Kama Sutra, um, Re Kama Sutra Revitalizing Body Oil is that the oil is the, the, the Bulgarian rose that's in that bottle is soaked for 180 days. So when a batch is made, once that batch is done, it's done. You can't go back and say, well, let me make a little bit more or anything like that. So they're probably preserved and held on for a... Um, for a long period of time for six months. So it's, it's really, really potent. When I put a little bit on, I like putting on a lot. I should not, but I do because I really enjoy the smell. Yeah. So the next one is the Mademoiselle and I bought these to complete my, I don't know. I, I was, I actually went to the mall and I was going to get some Joe Malone cause you know, they had the, the, um, Neiman Marcus had the beauty event. You buy $150 and I forgot what it was. Oh, and you get a bag with, with goodies in it, which I got two bags over there. But um, I wasn't feeling the Joe Malone lotions as much. You know, I kept thinking about this. So I really like these. So I bought and they match. They look cute. Look at that. Can you imagine that on the vanity? That's going to look good. Hello. Hi, BKG 3072, and I am Foxy K. Thank you for joining, right? So my recommendation, guys, don't forget to thumbs up the video, please. All right, so these are really nice. And um, let me see. Yeah, I'll be mixing everything together. So I think you guys know that about me by now, right? <laughs> I, leave no, I leave no fragrance unturned. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's beautiful. Smells like the fragrance. It just smells like luxury. Some people don't like Chanel, but I, I do. I, I I didn't before. I, I I talked all kind of smack when she, <laughs> I started talking all kind of smack about it. Yeah. So if you are military, check out your um, military. If you're military, pick this up. If not, you can go to Dillard's. You can go to, um, well, in military, you get like a discount. But you go to Dillard's. I saw these at Dillard's, and I also saw them at Neiman's. And I, I did see them at Saks, because Saks, our Saks is a Chanel counter. But you can also go on Fragrance Net and Fragrance, I don't know about Fragrance Bob, but Fragrance Net, I think they also sell body creams and lotions and stuff like that, as well as Aura Fragrances and... There's a couple of places that sells the body lotions as well. So I've got three body lotions there. And then Neiman Marcus. We're moving fast. Aren't you love Chanel? Me too. Me too. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. And you know, it's not necessarily that I put thought into my fragrance uh, combinations. I don't always do that. I just kind of walk into my closet. Um, and I look at the fragrance and I'm like, I feel like you today. I, I don't know what it is. It's sometimes I just get called to wear something. And sometimes I wear something like two or three days in a row. And I just mix it with something else because I enjoy it. So hi, Nat704. Thanks for joining. So this is, as you can see, the K. Nope, you can't. There you go. All right. So this is by Maison Francis Kirkshawn. I don't even have to tear the paper. Y'all, I recycle paper and boxes. I make it do what it do. And this is the Baccarat Rouge 540 um, fragrance cream. Yeah, scented body cream. Almost forgot what it was. So I have the oil. I have the travel of the Baccarat Rouge 540. I have the extrait, the smaller bottle. And um, the extrait, the parfum. And I also have the elixir oils, the background 540 um, extract elixir oils. And I've also layered background Rouge 540, believe it or not, I've layered it with Oud Satin Mood, the EDP, as well as the extract oil. So there's a, um, we talk about how Kayali, I'm tangential, okay? We talk about how Kayali makes her fragrances to go like intermittently or into interwove with others um, because of the lightness and the airiness and stuff like that. I think some of Maison Francis Kirkjohn's fragrances are created to do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Like 724, I could see it going with some of the fragrances from the Aqualis, 
or oh, Aqualis line, you know, the pretty light blue bottle and the light green bottles. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Skin Potion said, fragrances and scents are emotions in a bottle. Absolutely. Hi, Keitra. Happy anniversary. Perfume and organizing. Thanks for joining. I'm looking over here to see if I missed any comments. <laughs> Huraha said he's interested. What is the cost? The cost for what? The Backright Rouge 540 or the Chanel? What is the name of the fragrance? Okay. So the fragrances that I talked about so far was this one here. This is the um, Eau de Toilette version of um, Eau de Toilette version of Aura. That's the name of the fragrance. This one here. And then I had the first one I opened up is this one. And this is also a very nice, in my opinion, a nice creamy spring fragrance, spring summer fragrance, because it's light. It has a rainy feel to it, kind of like the aura, but this one has almonds and it has lilac. So if you like lilac and you like purple flowers, that type of stuff, you like the creaminess of it. And to me, the almond in here is not screeching. I always use the term screeching because sometimes when people put too much of something in a fragrance, that's the reaction my nose get. I start sneezing or it makes me feel sick or it smells, it becomes indolic where it's too, imagine you're cooking chicken and you didn't wash it. That's kind of the mindset that I get with fragrances sometimes because your olfactory is connected to your taste, right? So yeah, so that's the second one. So this one here, and I really like this one so far. Don't know if I'm going to keep it because I have some other stuff coming in the mail. And I just picked up Vallea, which I love. Okay. I love that fragrance. Let's see here. All right. So we talked about Aura already. I'm going to throw this back in the box. And this here, these two are the Chanel's. So the Chanel creams, Mademoiselle, Chanel Coco Mademoiselle and Chanel Coco. The black one is Coco and the other one is Coco Mademoiselle. And this is the Aura. This is the cream as well. And I also bought the body cream, which is in this gorgeous jar right here. I'm excited. I'm excited. And then the last cream, I think this is the last cream. This is Maison Francis Kirk Jean's Backward Rouge 540. And what I was explaining earlier is I think that he creates his fragrance. I don't know if it's purposefully or not, but I think that his fragrances were actually created. They, I won't say they were created too. I will just say that they blend well. I play around with them and I find that they... They work well together. The extrait works well with the EVPs, uh, mix in the satin mood with, you know, um, not with Grand Soir, mix the satin mood with um, gentle fluidy gold. Um, and sometimes if they have rose in it, you you know I'm putting some Kama Sutra fragrance oil on it, okay? So anyway, so that's what I picked up. So those are the lotions, okay? And I also picked this up earlier. I did a video. You'll see it on there. You'll see my little boy on there as well. We did a video where um, <laughs> we showed, he, he rated all my new purchases. And this is the uh, Carolina Herrera's Good Girl Blush. I also picked that one up. And I don't mind it. I don't think it's anything to run home and tell anybody about. I wouldn't say this is a must-have, in my opinion. It's beautiful, but I wouldn't say it's a must-have. I don't think so, in my on humble opinion. Very humble opinion. <laughs> okay. All right. So I also picked up and I can't find it because I don't know where I put it. And this always happens to me. And I picked up the Kayali fragrance and I don't know where I put it. So we're going to have to save that for another video. So let's go through Neiman Marcus, Gucci, Oh, here we go. There's a song. Here we go. Now, what's, 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 what's the scenario? So I have a whole bunch of Harmonist fragrances. Um, uh, how do you say? The sample stuff that you pick up when you go to the store and stuff. So I got some when I was in Houston. And I actually really liked a lot of them. And then I got on the phone with, um, I don't know if you all know her, Jessica Trim. <laughs> and we were on the phone talking and I was like, I don't know what to buy. I just don't want to buy stuff just to be buying stuff. You know, I'm trying to be a little more mindful and stuff like that. And she recommended that I pick this up and what this is. And if you go to the, um, 
if you go to your store, you can ask instead of buying the full bottles because the full bottles are a little over $200. You can get the travel set. And that's what I did. So this travel set has Sun Force, Moon Glory, Yin Transformation, and Hypnotizing Fire. So they were sold out for a little bit. So when I went back to my Neiman Marcus, they had it. Thank goodness. And I went ahead and picked this bad boy up. Yeah. Oh, I know what the fragrance is. It's downstairs with the tea I was making. I'm telling y'all, I'm losing my mind. There we go. Slide it through. And this is what I'm coming back because the light is not the best. Okay. So this is the box, the sleeve. Okay. I apologize again for you guys over here on YouTube. Yes, we do. We love us some Jessica. Yes, we do. And here's the set, guys. So what I like about this, this is how I was introduced to Maison Francis Kirkshawn. I bought a set similar to this. It was like almost $300. And um, it had five of the um, Back Rouge 540, but I was able to travel with a little travel case and stuff. It came with all of that. This one here, I like the fact that it comes with a little travel case. And it's nice and hefty. Okay. It's nice and it's solid. The only thing I would say is that I put a lot of lotion on my hand and already I got about a hundred fingerprints on this, you know, which, you know, with my mindset, it's not always a good thing. When I see fingerprints, I'm always like I'm about to do right now. Start wiping it. <laughs> Start wiping it down. <laughs> but anyways. It's not quite magnetic, but it'll do what it do. And it has those four fragrances in here. So this way you get to try a fragrance. You don't, you're not, um, you know, you're not committed to buying a full 75 mil, 50 mil, 100 mil. You try the small amounts and you travel and you just, I think I like travel sizes. I mean, they're cost effective and you get to try a lot more. So you take one of the fragrances, you take the cover off, you put it in here, and then bam, and that's it, right? And then you switch it out. I do House of Siage, the same thing, okay? I like it. I like it a lot. So let's talk about these fragrances. This one that I just picked up is... Moon Glory is magical. And this one is called Yin Transformation. Let's see. It's pretty. From the jump. Now, I have the samples over here. And I smelled them before I went and purchased this. But I, I was going to buy full bottles. And again, I, I was like, I'm not really going to wear a full bottle. But this is nice. So Yin Transformation, guys, it's it's pretty. It's it's pretty. Um. I don't think anybody's ever said anything bad about this one. I don't think. I'm pulling up on Fragrantic Curry right now. So Yin Transformation is actually in a blue bottle. It comes like in a in a blue bottle. And they are saying on here that it's gotten a rating of 4.09. It's a floral woody musk. I actually smell some sort of citrus notes. Yep, I was right. So the top is bergamot. Uh, grapefruit, lemon, and then water notes. And I can imagine, I think that this, to be honest with you, I think these fragrances have something to do with all the forces of nature. So the earth, wind, fire, you know, I think that's what this whole, the gist of the harmonious fragrances that everything, you know, mind, spirit, body, it moves in connection with that, you know? So that's where, and I, this is very peaceful. Yes. Me likey. Okay. So I have, let's see what I have over here so that I'm not spraying the, the bottles yet. So I've got Yin Transformation I tried. And the set has Doom Doom Doom, which we tried. Moon Glory. Matrix Metal I have a sample of. Metal Flower I have a sample of. And none of that is in this box. So we're going to have, except for Yin Transformation and Hypnotizing Fire. 
hypnotizing fire. So let's try hypnotizing fire. Nope. Let's see. Okay, I have a bare spot right here. I took a shower and didn't put any. I put lotion on. That's all I put on. Woo! This is good, guys. Woo! This is bougie good. This is like a gourmand. What the flying fajitas? This is nice. Oh, yeah. This is nice. Oh, my gosh. I have not been this. Oh. I have a whole conversation I want to talk about with, like, with stuff. But I'm, I'm going to keep it. This is nice and sexy. This is a great fragrance for the, um, I would say, like, colder weather. Because it's very deep and sensual. The top, oh my gosh. Top notes, guys. Top note is pimento. Middle note is Bulgari Bulgarian rose. And it will go good with my favorite fragrance oil. Madagascar vanilla, Indonesian patchouli, and leaf apopnox. And that is what is in the base. Patchouli leaf. I'm sorry, not patchouli, not leaf apopnox. But patchouli leaf, not the root. This is nice. It's very earthy and... It's earthy and it's sensual and so a little spicy, but this is a good, this is a sexy fragrance. Ooh, child. That's all I can say. <laughs> Let me see the color of it in here. <laughs> this is Moon Glory. And do I have Moon Glory here? I do not. So, Moon Glory, let's pull up my sleeve. Let's see, did I miss any questions? You waved at, oh, okay. Did I miss anybody? I did that with the white set for Mind Games, and the decant container is reusable. Yes. Yes, Nat. Sidewalk Safari, thanks for joining. And Amber Beauty, thank you for joining. And Nesh McQueen, thank you for joining. I really appreciate you guys joining. Let me tell y'all. These fragrances, there is a difference between, I hate, because everybody puts work into their stuff, you know what I mean? But these fragrances, niche fragrances, um, when there's a story, a real story behind it, and it's the development, it's not just like throwing things around, you know, like, let's see what sticks, you know? I don't think it's like that. They're not always very mass appealing. <laughs> And because this is so expensive, I don't spray expensive fragrances. But, well, yes, I do. That's a lie. I do spray expensive fragrances all the place. Now, this one, I would say, this is not my cup of tea. It's nice. But, whoo, it's strong. It's strong in something that's not, that's rooty, a, a root. This one is Moon Glory. So I'm not sure what the note in is with this one. So I'm not sure. I know I wouldn't buy a full bottle of this. Moon Glory. It's in a silver bottle. And this, ah, it's honey. Honey is very, mm, I like honey, but not, not all the time. Most of the fragrances that are heavy on the honey, I don't sit well with me. This has Peru balsam, which I like. It has Hinoki wood, which I like. It has passion flower, which I'm thinking is a fruit of, uh, the flower of the passion fruit tree, um, orchid cactus. Nope, this is not for me. Yep, so this is going to be decluttered. This is moon glory. This is not for me. Where's my wipes? Damn it. I left my wipes downstairs too. Moon glory is not glorious <laughs> for Pam. <laughs> oh God, you said moon glory is magical. Not for me. <laughs> Mm, no. Hi, Teresa. Mm -mm. No, Moon Glory is not for me. Uh, it's not for me. I did that with the wipes. <laughs> yeah, I think that you like Moon Glory? Maybe I got a bad batch. It's uh, very honey. Like, it's very thick. Maybe it has to set low, but right off the bat... <laughs> He said, send it his way. <laughs> yep, I'm decluttering that one, I think. 
we'll see how hubby mm, maybe it's for more of a i don't know hold up yeah i'm gonna have to let that sit for a little bit maybe a lot bit <laughs> not a little bit but a lot bit all right so the next one we have is let's see did we already play this is called sun force and sun force because it's four fragrances that come in the set and sun force <laughs> Sun Force. Sun Force is. Why are you not popping up? Here we go. Sun Force is in a creamish gold bottle. This is warm, spicy, and amber fragrance. And top notes. Oh, pomelo. I love pomelo. Maybe it's because my name is Pamela. Yeah, I like this. I like it. But this also has honey in it. And I could tell because it's very similar to the night. This is very strong and it reminds me of almost like an 80s, 90s vibe. I'm going to let it dry down a little bit and then I'll get my nose back up in there. But it has vetiver, which I can smell. It has benzoin musk, sandalwood in the base. And I'll tell you right now, what I'm getting is a lot of the spices, the heavy spices, the cardamom, the, um, the vetiver. It's very spicy. It's very heady. I'm not, if you like spices, this might be your cup of tea. I like spices, but I don't know if I like how this is. Oof, no. <laughs> I'm still a no with Moon Glory. I might have to let that sit a little bit, but those two are, that's, it's a no for me for now. That's, that's how I'm thinking. So those are the four guys. So Yin Transformation is a yes. It's a yes for me. Hypnotizing Fire is also a yes. Uh, Sun Force and Moon Glory are not my cup of tea at the moment. And I'll go through these samples another time. So that's the set. And this is what the set looks like. So you have the atomizer and then you have the fragrances. So yeah. I'm a little bummed out about that because I was expecting it to be I remember smelling, I don't think I smelled the gold one and the silver one in the store. I don't recall smelling those because I was smelling more the um the white bottles and stuff. So yeah, I don't know about this. This might, this, <laughs> the whole set might go. Because <laughs> I am not about, I'm not forcing anything to work for me. I, I'm over that phase of, of collecting fragrances and stuff where you're trying to force things to fit into a category because of whatever particular reason. I'm just, I'm not with that. I'm not. Let's see here. Let it sit for a hot minute and then go back to it. Okay. Okay. So, all right. So Ray says, let's, uh, moon glory is a journey and that it has to um, develop. Okay. Okay. Teresa says the same thing. Let it sit for a minute and then go back. Okay. All right. So that's that set. And then, and then I left the freaking fragrance downstairs, Pamela. But I tell you what, what I got here for y'all, I don't know if you guys have been, I have been delving because I cannot afford all of these expensive bottles. So what I've been doing is buying partials. And I talk about that in all of my videos. I talk to you guys about buying partials. My, I highly, 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 highly recommend joining Facebook groups such as Femme Fragheads, such as uh, Fragrance Lord, such as the Killian Group, Maison Francis Kirkshawn Group, Raja, Raja Haute Perfumery or Haute Perfumery, um, Frag Talk, I'm just throwing, I'm not getting paid or anything, guys. I'm just telling y'all, these are the groups that I, Fragrance Junkies, but I hang out more in Femme Fragrance, Femme Frag, Femme Fraghead, um, T T L T G is mostly, they talk mostly guy fragrances in there, like masculine leaning fragrances and stuff. Very few. I think I'm the only girl in there that posts women fragrances, to be honest with you, when I post like my video and stuff like that. But these are groups, when you join these groups, more than likely people are, they swap or they, um, you can swap fragrances or you can purchase fragrances that are, you know, some people 
just or decants and stuff so my recommendation is always to do that and then you have places like crystal fragrance you have crystal fragrance you have olfactory factory i believe they're nyc they're out of new york and then you have um oh god she's on instagram with us uh la Parfumerie. she has an actual physical store in the raleigh north carolina so if you're in, if you're in that area um uh, whether it's fayetteville or you know you're near I recommend that you go check it out if you're a perfume lover. And I, I just think that it's a great way to experience fragrances and not paying the full part. Speaking of that, I think that you guys know that Guerlain relaunched some of their fragrances. Guerlain. I think that's how you say it. Guerlain. Not Guerlain, but Guerlain. There's, Teresa says, I love doing the same thing. There's nothing wrong with buying partials. No, I love partials. I absolutely love partials. And one that I got my hand on for my birthday because I was going to buy the full bottle. And for what you know, <laughs> I just don't know. And this one is called Oud Nude. This is not the Oud that you regularly smell. This is not. This is so beautiful, guys. And the bottle is beautiful. See that with a nice little uh, cord around the neck. Okay. So I absolutely, when I smell this at first, I was like, what am I smelling? And then not even two minutes after the spray dries down, that's when it starts smelling exceptionally well on my skin. Hi, Audrey. Thank you for joining. Audra, sorry. Thank you for joining. So this is Oud Nude and this is by Galan. This is their limited line. Yes, Courtney, go on. <laughs> so I got this one. And then I also picked up Cherry Oud. If you are a lover of Tom Ford's, how should I say it? Lost Cherry. And you like that sweet, tart, almondy vibe with Lost Cherry. This is Lost Cherry's. This is Lost Cherry's boss. This is not as like sweet. It's not, a, we're not talking the sweetness here. There is sweetness to it, but excuse me. We're not talking about that. We're talking about the aspect of the fragrance where it's extremely, it's just really complex. And if you like leather, I'm not a leather fan either. And I found myself liking this. So, nope. Ooh, my hand smells good. Smells good. Smells good. Free spot. Yep. So you have to wait till this dries down. I forgot her name. I was looking at this one young lady on YouTube and um, she was talking about this. The cherry in cherry oud is really pretty. The oud is there. It's not a smoky oud to me. To me, I found it to be extremely, it's leathery, but not too heavy. Think Charlemagne. Y'all know I had a trouble with Charlemagne. For those of you who've been following me for a while, I struggle with Charlemagne because sometimes what leather does on my skin, it smells like patrol. And my skin just makes it smell that way. And to my nose anyways. And initially when I sprayed the cherry oud, I was like, whoa, I smell leather. I smell patrol. Oh, crap. Because this wasn't cheap. But once it dries down, I smell more of the cherry. But it's not um, childlike. It's not youthful. As in, you know, this is grown woman, boss, man. This is this, this grown folk stuff. This is like... There's a TV show called Billionaire, and one of the characters, um, he likes uh, he likes uh, intimacy with pain, associated with pain. This is that kind of cherry oud, leather and lace, and you know, just bold and comfortable in your sexuality and your bossiness. This is this that's that's what cherry oud is. That kind of sexiness. It's not for the faint of heart. And in my opinion, you need to try it before you put any money. Do not buy, buy. Don't buy by this. Don't blind buy this. Don't blind buy this. Don't blind buy these bloody expensive fragrances. Okay, please don't. Um, I did with those two, but the person I purchased them from, I am very trustworthy of her judgment. She knows what I like, and she knows what I wouldn't like. Okay, so I mentioned to you guys about Maison Francis Kirk Jean. I'm pulling out all of them that I purchased. So I bought the, the lotion. 
Oh, before we go there, let's just pull out these. So I also bought Blanche Bet. Didn't think I was going to like this. I smelled it at the scent room in Dallas and I was kind of going iffy on it. And actually, I do like it. So this is a very creamy fragrance. It's like tonic. It's milky. It can go sour on your skin depending upon your body chemistry and what you drink or don't drink. You know what I'm saying? But actually, it's a nice fragrance. Um, so I do like it. And this is by Liquidy Imagine. And then, and then, I already talked about this. This is uh, Black Opium's Le Parfum. I think this is a must buy, even if it's a small travel size, guys. You need to pick this up. Doom, doom, doom. Hippie Rose. Nope, that's mine. Ah, here's another Galan. Polish it up for y'all. Here we go. This is Garlon and this is Rose Barber. This is so interesting. Teresa says she loves Blanche Bet. Yep, it's good. It's really good. So, hi, 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 hi. Hi, Abby. Hi, Fabby24. Thanks for joining. Okay, so Blanche, what is it? Rose Barber. This is in the older formulation, and I was really happy to get my hands on this. Now, this rose is sort of a, it reminds me a little bit of Ramon Monegal type rose. They're very complex and very, it's not, not too sugary. Let's find a spot for her. Nope. No. Oh, you're right. It does smell better when it sits down. It, uh, Moon Glory. Turns into a powdery, yeah. <laughs> but initial impact, it was not no. <laughs> initial impact for Moon Glory was a flat no for me. Flat line. This is so pretty. I don't have any rose like this. It's almost leaning, almost leaning like a vintage style without the powderiness. Um, so there's a sharp twist to it. And um God, I can't remember the name of the fragrance. It's an old fragrance. It's, it's beautiful. In my opinion, it's a beautiful, beautiful rose. Let's see if I can pull up the notes for you guys real quick. Now, it was also re... re I don't know. I don't want to say reformulated, okay? So the current rose Barber is in this bottle. Um, But like I said, this is an older formulation. And so that... That old school vibe that I'm getting, that's that old school perfumes that has that aldehydic vibe to it. The powdery notes that are woven into the fragrance, um, the airiness, aldehydes back then. You know, the way things were sourced back then was completely different. So you can smell the rose and you can smell the aldehyde at the top with this one. And um, if you've ever been, if you've ever drank fenugreek tea, um, you know, uh, I breastfed my kids. So I drank fenugreek. Right. And, and I know what it smells like. So I could smell it. I could pull it out of here, but it's not in a bad way. So I think that Rose Barbera just gives me that time, that vibe from old school. So I would, I would wear that. I would also wear it with the Kama Sutra oil, but I think that this one, I wouldn't layer it with an oil. I would layer it with a lotion because the rose here is sharp. And it doesn't tell me what type of rose on Fragrantica. It doesn't tell me whether it's Turkish, whether it's Bulgarian, whether it's grass. It doesn't give me that information. So if you've smelled it before, please let me know. Hey, I went to Michelle. Hi, Fragline. Uh, my fingers. Okay. So, yeah, guys, I'm telling y'all, this is nice. If you get a chance to get a sample of this, um, I don't know if the new formulation smells like this one, but this one is, is hitting. It's hitting for real. Yeah, so that is Rose Barber or B-A-B. Let me show you guys the old bottle with the girl on at the front written right down here and then the name plates on the side right here. I'm going to have to do a sale and push some stuff out because what I have in here, I'm loving. I'm absolutely loving. Anything else new in here that we didn't talk about? Okay, so the only thing that I have left to talk to you guys about and are these. And I picked up um, 
Baccarat Rouge 540, the small one, the X-Trade, because the big bottle is expensive and I'm not going to use a whole 75 mil. So I just went ahead and got the smaller bottle. And then I also have, I want to say it's pronounced Amaris, A-M-Y. R I S. So this is sort of a floral, a creamy floral. I'm iffy on this one. Like when I smelled it, I think I smelled it straight in the store and I purchased by mistake the eau de parfum. I think because I think that in the store it just came off a little bit sweeter to me. Hold on one second. Woo! I got it on my lip. Yeah, so I'm not sure about this one so much. I like it, but I don't know. I felt like when I was in Neiman Marcus, I smelled on the counter. I must have smelled the next tree. Let me guys know. Let me guys. Let me know if you've smelled it before and what your thoughts are on Amaris. It has like a green. I don't know if I'm feeling that one. And then I picked up Oud Satin Mood. And when I was talking to you guys about mixing the oils, this one I definitely mix with the Kama Sutra oil. And it smells, because this has rose and stuff in it. This is a beautiful fragrance. Now, I prefer the extrait, but I also love the Eau de Parfum. So, let's see here. I hope to smell that. It's good. It's good, Abby. But... It has to dry down. I prefer um, Le Beau instead. My favorite rose from Maison Francis Kirk Jean, besides the Oussat Mood and stuff like that, the the other ones is Le Beau. I like that one. I don't know what it is about that. The older it gets, the creamier it gets. And on my skin, it just works really well. Um, It's very comfortable to spray up here. If I can't deal with this, y'all know I like to do this when I'm spraying. So the problem is that when I do like this, if a fragrance isn't really hitting me, properly that's a problem you know it's problematic so yeah let's see here and those are the only three new Maison France I have full bottles of the other one so these are the mini but I started buying these bottles because I think that buying these bottles I'm more likely to use these up off I'm more likely to use these up than I am to use up those bigger bottles right although these are huge <laughs> This is 100 mil in here. This is, I think this is 200 mils. So the cherry, ooh, this smells not, it doesn't smell like lost cherry, but if you like lost cherry, you might like this, except this one is much more potent in the fact that it's just grown up. The oud in here is hitting. I'm not a big oud fan, but this is actually like leathery. Let me pull it up real quick. I'll tell y'all what the notes are in cherry oud. It's very grown up. That's all I could say is grown up. And how do you tell somebody something smells grown up? <laughs> That's what this about. Oh, my God. So leathers at the top, cherry, oud, sweet, fruity, animalic, smoky. So the notes are quite simplistic, though. You've got cherry and fruity notes at the top. When I see cherry and fruity and stuff, I think Tiziana Terenzi, I think Zerzhov. I don't think what I'm smelling here. Turkish rose and Bulgarian roses in the middle. And then in the base, you have leather and agarwood. This is extremely potent. The blend in this is very good. But again, do not buy these fragrances just going in blind buying. Please, please, please sample if you can. Okay. And this was created by Delphine Jelk. Oh, I think that's how you say her name. Either Delphine Jelk or Jelk. Oh, I don't know. I don't want to mess it up. Hi, Lister. Thanks for joining. So yeah, guys, we've been on for an hour, almost an hour, and we did good. We went through all the creams. Um, for those of you that just joined, I bought a whole bunch of creams, perfume creams. I bought the Chanel, the Coco Mademoiselle and the Coco. I bought the um, Maison Francis Kirkjean, which on my skin in the store felt really good. That's why I picked it up. And it'll go good with the oil. I bought the Aura Mugler um, cream as well. And then one fragrance. I think, Winter Michelle, you'll like this. I bought the Aura or the Toilette. And I also picked this up by... Uh, I don't like the bottle getting so dirty with my fingers. This is by Issa Miyake. And this is a drop... What's it called? A drop the AC. I love the bottle. It looks like a pebble. Like, you know, water running on the pebble. That's what it looks like. 
very uh, aesthetically pleasing if you have like white bathrooms or white rooms and stuff, which this would need to be a white room. I need to change all of this up. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me. If you have any questions or comments and stuff, please DM me if I didn't. If you, if, I hope to smell that. I already saw that. I think your meaning the scent is very mature. <laughs> I don't want to use that word mature. <laughs> um, but it smells vintage. That, ooh. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. This is what I love about layering. When you start spraying different fragrances on your skin, you know how you're like, well, I just want to smell like this and I just want to smell like that. I love it when different fragrances are blended together. This is why I like just layering. I love it. Because I smell, I don't, I don't have no perfume that smell like all how many perfumes I sprayed on my skin today. Back to Moon Glory smelling better. And the fire one is also smelling better, but the initial, no. And then I also talked a little bit. I bought this gift set, uh, travel set. And this has got four fragrances in it that I loved. I love, no, I'm sorry. I loved two and two of them, not so much. Uh, the two not, not so much was Hypnotizing Fire and um, Moon Glory. And I love Lit Yin Transformation and Sun Force. I think those are the two. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. <laughs> but anyways, um, if you're watching this on replay, please drop a comment if you have any questions. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate y'all for the moon and back. Take care of yourself and each other, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Tomorrow, my birthday. Hey, ooh, ooh. Your girl turning in double nickel. <laughs> All right, y'all. Take care. I will see y'all later. Bye. Oh, don't forget to follow me or subscribe to my channel. <laughs> okay. Talk to y'all later. Bye. <laughs>